Hey kids, Graham here. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing four lightweight tents that I've been using over the past few years. Two are made by REI, and two are made by Big Agnes. I won't get into any detail on setup. They're fairly simple to use. The point is, Big Agnes tents are expensive compared to REI tents. And it's good to know what are you getting when you pay that extra money. So I'm hoping to answer that question for you. Well, here we go. If you are familiar with lightweight backpacking equipment, you know it can get pretty expensive. The lighter the weight and seemingly less material used, the higher the price tag and the less the durability it provides. But you can't have it all, low price, lightweight, and durability. Pick two as all three of these are not usually possible. Here is the REI Half Dome 2 Plus. Right off the bat, I can tell you this is not a tent that I would consider lightweight, although it is lighter than many two-person tents of similar size. My observation is that this REI tent is a popular tent with hikers and bicycle tourists, especially for couples or for two travelers sharing their tent space. With ground cover and stakes, it weighs a whopping 6.6 .6 pounds, but packs down to a somewhat manageable size for transporting. If you split up the parts to distribute the weight and have your travel partner carry, say, just the rain fly or just the poles, it works out well for two people. The rain fly and the tent are both made of 40 denier nylon and the floor is a slightly thicker 70 denier, so it's pretty robust material. Where this tent really shines is the level of space it provides and its durability. There's plenty of room for two adults with two doors for access and two large vestibule areas for gear storage. It's also very sturdy and provides three season weather protection. This particular tent has been through some heavy Sierra thunderstorms with no issues. To me, this REI tent is a quality product, but it is a fairly generic dome style tent, but priced at under $250, I do think this roomy REI tent strikes a good balance between something that's not too heavy and something that's not too expensive. It has durable components, its packed weight is manageable for two people, and also a family dog or two have shared this tent on occasion, so it's dog and dog owner approved. This next tent is the Big Agnes Copper Spur UL2. It's also a two-man tent, and I would consider this a lightweight tent, weighing in at a very manageable 3.5 pounds. It also packs down pretty small. While this is a two-man tent, I've only used it solo, and in reality, only two fairly thin or smaller sized people could share this tent comfortably, and you would need to be pretty good friends too. This two-man tent costs $400, or about 60% more than the REI two-man tent, but it is three pounds lighter and packs up much smaller. The material Big Agnes uses with this tent is a proprietary lightweight nylon, and at first touch it seems kind of fragile. However, it's generally more durable than I initially sensed, but you do need to be extra careful packing and unpacking this tent. This tent has two doors with two vestibules large enough to keep your gear out of the elements, but in my opinion I would not let a dog into this tent as the material does not seem canine rated. Some time ago, I did manage to put some holes in the rainfly on this tent after tossing the rainfly over a bush to dry out. I've done that with other tents before without issue. However, on this occasion, there was some minor damage that could have been avoided if I had stayed vigilant about giving the tent some extra TLC. So I patched the holes in the field with some small pieces of duct tape and the fly has proven to still be watertight. This Big Agnes tent uses a pole structure that is a little more minimalist than the REI tent. And minimizing the total length of the pole material used, this saves a few ounces and adds to the overall weight savings. And it still provides a very solid structure for the tent. I did find that the bungee shock cord that was used with the tents is not very durable. I replaced the cord after two years of use after a total of probably 35 nights as the cord had lost its elasticity. I made the repair at home and the repair was not too difficult, 
but it was rather disappointing that the original shock cord was of such low quality on a somewhat expensive tent. I should mention this model came with the Mountain Glow option which has a sewn in strip of LED lights on the inside that's powered by a couple of small batteries. And it works well if you get up in the dark and you want to sort your gear but not really bright enough to read by. Here is the REI Quarter Dome one man tent. I've had this tent for a number of years and REI still sells it but they have changed up the design. The latest version is still somewhat similar, but they have made some improvements that are not covered here. Weighing in at 3.3 pounds, this tent has seen some good use on backpacking trips and on a few shorter bicycle tours. It provides a fairly robust shelter for one person while keeping the weight and pack size down to a very manageable level. It's a tight fit for a 6 foot 4 person like myself as the tent width tapers off at the foot end and is rather coffin-like in shape. The tent design includes one door and one vestibule. This tent does well in the rain, but has had some trouble with strong crosswinds. It seems the single pole design is good at saving some weight, but provides a less than stable structure when winds are a blowing. REI uses 15 denier ripstop nylon on the tent body and 30 denier on the fly and tent floor. This tent has proven to be pretty robust. It's been set up on many abrasive surfaces such as Sierra granite and the tent shows no sign of wear. Typically when backpacking, I haven't used a stuff sack with this tent. I just stuff it into my backpack with no issues. The tent design is semi freestanding, so on solid surfaces, you'll need to improvise with a couple of rocks to stake out the foot end of the tent. Priced at just under $250, the REI Quarter Dome is a good value and is lighter than many one-man tents of this type. This next tent is the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL1. It is very lightweight, coming in at 2.9 pounds. The material used with this tent is very thin and again, due to the lightweight nature of the fabric and mesh, it requires careful handling when setting up or taking down. This tent has limited space. It has enough room for my long size air pad and sleeping bag. And again, I should mention I am 6 foot 4, 220 pounds, and it is a tight fit. Despite this smallish size, I can fit into this tent comfortably and it has worked out pretty well when I'm trying to travel as light as possible. The design and details used on this tent are really nice. The pole structure has some offset angles that increase the vertical perspective of the tent walls, and this increases the overall interior volume. It is a tight fit as it is, and without this extra vertical wall angle, it would probably be a little too small for me. Overall, I think REI tents are a terrific value. If saving money is a key factor with the less need for the lightest gear possible, then REI products fit the bill perfectly. For a lengthy bicycle tour or extended through hike, the REI tents offer better durability and that may be advantageous as well. Like many REI brand camping products, they are not on the leading edge of tent design, but are high quality, long lasting and dependable. On the other hand, Big Agnes tents are well thought out with attention to details on all aspects of weight reduction and practical design. This creates a very light product, albeit one that is somewhat delicate. However, when used properly, it will last for several years, providing an easily transported and highly functional outdoor shelter. So to answer my own question, yes, I do feel Big Agnes tents are worth the extra money. The One Man Copper Spur HVUL1 is my current go-to as I like the high volume aspect to the latest designs. And if you found any value to this review, please hit the thumbs up. And if you have other tents that you've had good luck with, please let me know in the comments.